Hi, my name's Adam Unsworth, Sales Director at Plastic Card Services Limited. Um, I'm going to give you a, a whistle stop tour of our people and processes so you can get a, a better understanding of, of what it is we do uh, and what's involved. So come with me, try and make it as interesting as possible. Okay, so the next step is to physically print the cards. We print in sheet format, that's 24 cards per sheet, and the fronts and the backs are printed separately. Uh, we use a KVA waterless Lyco press, which is a, a really good press actually. The quality of the print is second to none. You get very, very good, fine detail when you print on this press. Uh, the other big advantage to it is that it's a waterless Lyco press, which means it's very environmentally friendly. Um, it uses no water, very little VOCs are emitted and there's no alcohol so you know we are trying to offer a, a, an environmentally sound product from, from start to end. Um, it runs uh, very very quickly actually this is the fastest part of the operation and this is really underused in comparison to the other processes which I'll show you next. Okay so once we've printed the core material front and back sheet we then need to collate those into sets of fronts and backs with laminate overlay so you actually end up with four pieces of plastic and use this semi-automatic collator behind me uh, to do that so we're spot welding the corner of each of the four sheets and we're using laser eye technology to make sure everything's lined up properly and it's at this point that if we're putting a magnetic stripe into the card uh, we put that into the overlay so we use a magnetic stripe overlay in that instance uh, just to explain in a bit more detail front sheet and back sheet of two core materials and then with the overlay over the top. We've actually got four pieces of plastic into each sheet. Once we've done that we then go on to the laminator. The, the part of the process where we take the collated sheets, so the sets of four plastic sheets that are spot welded, um, and we, we basically bake them under heat and pressure for a, a very, very specific time at a very specific temperature. Each job is different. For example, if you've got a white or a silver card, that will reflect heat, as opposed to a black card, which will absorb heat. So we need to, to be very careful about the way we laminate. But basically what we're doing here is putting the sheets in between metal plates, either high gloss or satin plates, um, and cooking them um, and so it's at this point that you'll bond the material together and give it the finish so either high gloss or matte lamination. Um, this machine runs all day every day and it's a, a real bottleneck to the processes um, but, you know it's a very slow and, and labour intensive process so this is where most of the bottleneck lies within production. Basically what we're doing here is punching the cards into individual finished plastic cards which are 86 by 54 millimetres. So we're taking the sheet of 24 and punching in sets of three. Um, what happens on this piece of kit is it re-registers again using laser eye technology every three cards to make sure that any movement and any spread on the design is minimised and obviously within the ISO tolerance. This operates at about 10,000 cards an hour. The final part of this process is for the lads to manually check every single card. Um, they're checking for any blemishes, any lamination issues, any, any final quality checks really that the, the, the automatic equipment hasn't picked up. But it's really important that those guys do that. So they're able to see the finished skeletons once the cards are punched, they're left with a, a, a sheet skeleton and we send those on for recycling so they go off to be made into lamp posts and soles of people's shoes and park benches and that sort of thing so everything is recycled that can be. Okay moving on from the car production plant I'm now in the car personalisation and fulfilment department which is actually next door. Um, basically what we're doing here is we personalise any plastic cards, personalise any stationery, match the two together if required, insert to an envelope for direct mailing fulfilment. Um, so 
just running through the processes, what we've got is two OSE laser printers capable of printing anything from A5 up to A3. Very quick, very good, reliable workforces. We've also got a number of smaller laser printers which we can call upon. Further to that we've got two folders, high speed folders which are capable of perforating and creasing stationery, which comes in really handy. So once we've personalised the stationery, we then need to personalise the card. Uh, we've got a series of personalisation machines. Um, we've got four embossers, obviously your old style embossing like a bank card where you hammer the, the details into the back of the card. That's also capable of encoding a magnetic stripe or a smart chip if required. A series of thermal printers, they'll run at about a thousand cards an hour and will burn the image flat into the surface of the card. And then finally we've got an Atlantic sizer drop on the land line. Drop on the land is, is basically high speed inkjet which is extremely good quality. Okay, once we've personalised the card, personalised the stationery, we then need to match mount. It's really important that we get 100% verification, so we use a camera system. It's a three-way camera system, and what it does is it picks up the number on the card, picks up the number on the letter, makes sure the two match, and then attaches the card. We've got three of these systems that will run at a speed of 5,000 up to 10,000 an hour. If the camera does spot on this match, then the machine will stop, and it's up to the operator to clear that and make sure the right card is attached to the right carrier. Three swing arm inserters. Alien inserters basically fill the envelope with the product that you need to mail. So, in the most instances, it's a card attached to the letter, but it can involve additional inserts and brochures, that sort of thing. They're fairly slow, run about 3,000 cards an hour, but very reliable, and they're specifically designed, or we buy them in specifically because they're good at handling a plastic card on a letter. Okay. 